What is up guys, Joe here back with another video. Today I wanted to cover how to buy the Glimmer token on the Moonbeam platform and also how to acquire more Glimmer tokens on the Stella Swap platform. So as you know, currently the only way to buy Glimmer tokens is on the KuCoin exchange. But if you do use KuCoin, there are associated fees for purchasing and withdrawing the Glimmer token. So the cheaper way to purchase Glimmer tokens is using both the Moonbeam platform and the Stella Swap platform. So as you know, Moonbeam is Polkadot's official Ethereum virtual machine that allows you to port Ethereum apps onto the Polkadot ecosystem. So any Ethereum project that wants to run on the Polkadot network requires the Moonbeam token. So that's why I'm super bullish on this coin and it has a ton of potential. And currently Moonbeam being this trending at the 76 cent price point and it's heavily undervalued in my opinion the risk reward ratio is very high here and if you look at DeFi llama moonbeam is ranked number 22 with over 190 million total value locked in its DeFi ecosystem so i'm super bullish on the glimmer token and today i wanted to cover a step-by-step -step complete guide on how to buy the glimmer token using dot tokens let's go so in order for this to work you will have to install both the metamask wallet and the polka.js wallet so first thing is first you would go to metamask.io and scroll over it and hit download for chrome or download for brave and from here this would install the extension on your upper right corner as a metamask icon and once you have that only the ethereum mainnet is pre-installed you will have to manually add the moonbeam mainnet so in order to add the moonbeam network you would first visit visit docs.moonbeam.network and on here you would plug in these individual fields into this section here you would open your drop down list here and click on add network and from here you would plug in the corresponding fields into this section and once you have that installed you will have the moonbeam network available to you in this drop down list Great, so now that you've added the Moonbeam network, the next step would be to install the Polkadot.js wallet. And the website here would be polkadot.js.org. And on here, you would navigate to this section here called extension and click on this hyperlink. And from here, you would either click on download for Chrome or download for Firefox. And the same idea applies here. This extension would be added to your top right corner here right, with this orange P logo. And now this acts as your official Polkadot wallet. And keep in mind, in order to use this wallet, you will have to deposit one polka dot into that wallet and don't forget when you set up your polka dot wallet make sure you save your seed phrase in a secure location do not want to lose it don't want to share it with anyone this is highly important so you don't have your wallet hacked cool. so now that you've installed both metamask and the polka dot js wallet you're going to want to buy some polka dot from coinbase and send it over to the polka dot js wallet and like i mentioned at any given time the js wallet will have to keep a balance of one dot token minimum so i'm a big fan of using coinbase pro the fees are cheaper to buy and sell so i highly recommend you use coinbase pro over the regular coinbase if you're constantly moving coins around so on here navigate to the polka dot section and hit withdrawal and select polka dot and crypto address so now the dot address would be found up here go back to your wallet and copy this hit copy address now you can paste that here and now the amount I would like to withdraw, I'm gonna go ahead and hit max. And there is an associated network fee and that's a gas fee of 0 0.02. And a gas fee is essentially a network fee for you to send a coin over the network. Every blockchain has gas fees associated. This is simply a transaction fee. So 0 0.02 of one whole DOT token is roughly 15 cents and verify this all looks correct and we're gonna hit withdrawal and the withdrawal has started so this would roughly take under a minute for this to process so in order to verify our tokens have arrived in our polka.js wallet let's go back to our polka.js.org website and we can view our native wallet on the website so back on the site you would click on the first link up here under apps wallet hosted click on this hyperlink great and once you're here go ahead and click on account and accounts 
And as you can see, your account is located down here. And now we do have a new balance of 22.34 DOT tokens. Great, so that was quick. That was under 30 seconds. So now the next step would be to visit the Alfisha Moonbeam Network website. And the website here is www.moonbeam.network. And on the top right, you would click on launch app. Great, and right away, it'll ask you to connect to a wallet. We're gonna connect to our MetaMask wallet. Great, and this is the homepage. So on your top section here, you do see your available Glimmer balance, your cross-chain assets. So remember, Polkadot is an interoperable network. So there are dozens of coins that are compatible with the Polkadot network. So on here, you do see other available coins you can swap or trade for under the Moonbeam network. You can vote on governance proposals on the left here. And towards the bottom, on the bottom right, if you are staking, you do see your staking in rewards. Cool. So now the next step would be to go under the cross-chain assets and deposit Polkadot tokens. So let's navigate higher here and under cross-chain assets. Let's go ahead and under Polkadot, click on deposit, and it's going to ask us to connect our Polkadot.js wallet. So let's go ahead and click on that. Make sure the chain is under Polkadot and your Polkadot address matches what you have up here. And now under amount, you want to choose the amount of Polkadot you want to deposit. Again, the idea here is we're gonna swap our dot tokens for some glimmer tokens and just remember that polka.js wallet always needs to maintain a minimum balance of one dot token so don't deposit all of your tokens into this. Keep one free DOT token available. So if you hit max, it'll auto populate how many you can contribute while maintaining that one free DOT token. So the max I can contribute here is 21.3. But just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna do 21 whole tokens. And verify this all looks correct, and we're gonna hit send. And just remember when you installed your Polka.js wallet, it did prompt you to set up a password for this account. So go ahead and log in with your password. Password. And just remember this password is separate from your seed phrase. Now the transaction has been submitted and the transaction has been confirmed. Awesome. And now you do see under cross chain assets, our new polka dot balance is 20.99 XC dot. So essentially you deposited dot and in return you got back XC dot tokens. And XC dot is essentially a parachain version, a transferable version of polka dot within the polka dot ecosystem. Keep in mind, XE dot and dots are essentially the same. They're of equal value at a one-to-one -one ratio. Cool, so we deposit our dot token and in return we received XE dot. And you can also add XE dot to your MetaMask wallet. So it's viewable under your MetaMask balance. And in order to make this viewable oh, under Polkadot, just click on add to wallet. And this would add the XE dot token as an asset in your viewable assets section. So now when we look under Moonbeam and under assets, we scroll lower we do see our available 20.99 XC dot available. Great, and the last step would be to swap our XC dot for some Glimmer tokens. And in order to do this, we're gonna have to visit the Stella Swap DEX. So the website here is stellaswap.com. This is Polkadot's biggest exchange currently. And on here, you can trade, you can swap, yield farm, and lend any Polkadot token. It's a very powerful app. And I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking to earn an extra yield on their Polkadot or Glimmer token. Go ahead and click on Launch App. And there's other cool sections on this app. You can trade, you can earn, you can stake, you can bridge, you can lend and borrow. But what we're looking to do today is swap our XC Dot for some Glimmer. Right, so we're gonna pull up the XC Dot token and swap it for Glimmer. And don't forget to connect your MetaMask wallet on the top right section here. And once you've done that, let's scroll lower and let's go ahead and pull up the XC Dot token. And here's XC Dot, and we're gonna swap it for some Glimmer. And here's our Glimmer. Great, and we're gonna wanna swap all of our XC Dot for some Glimmer. So we're just gonna click on Max here. This will auto populate our balance. So for roughly 20.9 XC Dot in return, we'll receive 220. 26.71 Glimmer tokens. And the price impact is roughly 0.05%, which is a normal exchange rate. And verify this all looks correct. And we're gonna hit swap. And one more time, approve, confirm swap, and approve the transaction in your MetaMask wallet. Hit confirm. And we'll let this process for a couple of seconds. 
and the transaction has been submitted and the transaction has been approved and you can view it on the blockchain explorer which is etherscan to view the transaction on the public blockchain so now if you hover back to your metamask wallet you do see that we have a new updated balance of 230 glimmer tokens and we have zero xc dot available great so now that you've approved those transactions finally you can stake your glimmer on the moonbeam network so if you go back to the moonbeam website and you go to launch app make sure your metamask wallet is connected and towards the bottom here under the staking section you can click on stake now and stake your glimmer tokens so keep in mind there is a minimum balance required to stake with the glimmer tokens and in order to view how many tokens you need to stake you can visit the stakeglimmer.com website to see how many glimmer tokens you need to stake with certain validators so the website here is www.stakeglimmer.com and as you can see on the top right the current APR for Glimmer staking is 18.1% and you would scroll lower and under minimum bond let's go ahead and click on that and it'll sort by the minimum required so the lowest minimum bonding amount would be 110 Glimmer and as you keep going lower the amount increases so this p2p.org requires 140 Glimmer the next one requires 153 if you keep going lower Binance staking requires 248 moon landing 70 and you keep going simply staking 341 minimum so you get the idea here so definitely do your research here on this page and find out which validator you want to stake with and I do have a complete video on how to stake with the glimmer token on my channel so go ahead and check out that video for a complete guide on glimmer staking on the moonbeam network so because I previously have some glimmer token already staking I'm gonna go ahead and contribute more to my pre-existing balance on this Bitcoin suite validator so I would just simply click on manage delegations and I currently have 702 staking I'm just gonna increase my contribution hit bond funds amount to bond so I can scroll higher and my free balance is 230 so I'm gonna go ahead and bond 230 more to this validator click send and approve the transaction on your metamask wallet and the nomination was confirmed so now my new updated staking balance is 932 great so moving forward you definitely want to keep your validators diversified so you definitely want to stake with multiple validators do not keep your position concentrated in only one validator it's important to keep your staking nominations diversified cool so that about covers a complete guide on how to buy and stake the glow token using the dot token I'm super bullish on both the Polkadot ecosystem and the Moonbeam token. There's a reason Polkadot is ranked at number 11 and has remained in the top 10 of crypto projects for the last couple of years. They have a ton of projects in the works and hundreds of developers working on amazing projects. Definitely keep up to date with everything Moonbeam related at their official Twitter page at Moonbeam Network and everything Polkadot related at Polkadot. So keep your eye out on the Moonbeam project I do have more content on the way covering both Moonbeam and the Stella Swap decks. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.